Hi, I'm Andy Davey, spokesperson and site manager of IVA.co.uk. This is IVA TV reporting on the IVA issues that affect you. Welcome to our IVA news update for November. This month we have seen interest rates remain the same at 5.75%. However, we have also seen the first reports of house prices decreasing, coupled with the fewest mortgages taken out during the month of September since records began in 2002. When you also consider that the Credit Services Association, who represent over 95% of the debt collecting agencies, have recently reported a threefold increase over the last four years in the amount of debt that they handle. This now stands at a staggering £22.7 billion, and it doesn't bode well for the future. In fact, PricewaterhouseCoopers has stated that they expect to see an increase in the number of insolvency next year. When we look at the last set of statistics from the insolvency services, it actually shows a reduction in the amount of IVAs by 14% compared to the same quarter the previous year, with a small increase in the amount of bankruptcies. This, in my view, is down to the hardening by creditors towards IVAs and a general squeeze on fees payable to IPs, resulting in fewer IVAs both being proposed and accepted. By limiting fees payable to the IP, the creditors may be denying debtors with low disposable incomes the chance to enter into an IVA as many IPs will find such cases non-viable. In our October news update, we reported on the IVA Council and how they gave poor advice by stating that people in an IVA should stop paying into it if they felt that it had been missold. They were also using a logo similar to the insolvency services. Recently, the insolvency services have issued a statement confirming that they are not associated with the IVA Council and in no way condone the advice given out by the IVA Council. Well, that's it for now and thanks for tuning in. IVA TV, light at the end of the tunnel.